Hey friends, I am in the midst of my still super messy renovation, which means that I'm also quite a bit of a mess, but I wanted to come to you and tell you about something exciting that happened right in the nick of time, wink wink, I finally found and got my vintage Starburst clock to put in the place when it gets renovated, so I wanna tell you about how all that came to be. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. I adore anything Starburst, but particularly clocks. And I love the vintage Starburst clocks more than anything. And I've been wanting for my home an authentic one that works, but didn't have a cord that I would actually be able to use as a working clock in my home and as just a beautiful piece of artwork almost. About a year ago, I had the pleasure of doing an episode with Emily Rodriguez, also known as Emily Twirls, and I got to go and talk to her about her amazing home and all these treasures that she and her husband find and pick around the country and put them together in the most amazing ways. They have great stories. And while we were there, I talked to her about my desire to find a Starburst clock. I thought I would at least put it out in the universe. On my wish list, I have the Starburst, Starburst clocks. clocks. Yeah. So what would you suggest I do to find one of those? Unless, <laughs> wink wink, you guys find one and I get to buy it at Bad Match before it goes up and somebody steals it. <laughs> Emily was very gracious and told me that she would definitely be on the lookout for one and sell me something that she could part with once she found it. So I have been loving following her on Instagram. Guys, she has the best page with all these great pieces that they find and she tells stories about them. And I had been really following her and hoping that one of these treasures would eventually be mine. I would also reach out periodically just to check in, but I didn't want to be too much of a pest and knew it would come in good time. Late last year, we took a trip to Palm Springs where they have a lot of these cool mid-century pieces and I almost bought one of these clocks there until I found out that they were actually replicas and not the real thing. And I really wanted a real vintage working clock, so I kept channeling again checking out all of Emily's cool finds as well as the different ones that they have on Instagram and really putting it out there. While working on the house renovation, on a fluke, I decided to direct message Emily and I got this message back. Woohoo! They had one ready for me and it was one of their own from their collection that they reworked. And she sent this picture and I fell in love. It's perfect, exactly the color scheme. It's gonna tie everything in. And here she was within an hour after that thing was up, I snatched it up. Emily herself came and delivered it to me, which was so sweet. And here I am. This is the like bare bones of our place as it's uh, painted and the fireplace is nowhere near done but I'm having a great time sort of looking for different places to really feature this beauty of a clock. I mean, check it out. It is in great shape. It keeps really good time. It's very, very quiet. And I could not be more grateful for it. Can't wait to do another episode with Emily. I oh. think we found the place for the clock. My right? clock, my clock, my clock. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it, my friends. As you can see, I'm super excited. And it just goes to show you put something out in the universe, you might have to wait for a while, but then the perfect one comes just in time. So I'm excited to work this in and have it be one of the featured pieces in our new place. Stay tuned for where it actually ends up. You'll get to see it in its proper home. So thank you so much for watching. Would love to know what you think of the clock. And until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.